from five feet away I could smell. It just, it was awful. I wasn't sure he was still alive. She says this dog was found starving to death in a ditch by the side of the road, so she took matters into her own hands. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jessica Coons. Three days after we told you about a puppy abandoned in a cage in a Champagne Lake comes the story of a dog found near Villa Grove fighting for his life. Now a couple with a big heart for animals hopes their quick thinking was enough to save his life. WCI 3's Emily Braun is in our newsroom tonight. So, Emily, what do we know so far about this dog that was found? Jessica, we don't know if this is a runaway, stray, abuse, or neglect case. There's not much backstory or a clear way to trace it. But the woman I spoke with is committed to giving this dog's story a happy ending. But before we show you this, I do want to warn you, some of the images of this dog are a little bit graphic. This is the Gensler family, Brianna, her husband, Justin, and their three kids. Not to mention, it's kind of ridiculous at our house. It's a funny farm. Five cats and four dogs. I don't know. I just think that they deserve a chance. And, you know, somebody's got to take care of them. Uh, I don't say no very often. I have to give them a home because I know they're well taken care of. The avid animal lover felt what happened Monday was more than chance. Right as she was picking up one of her dogs from the area animal shelter, a young couple showed up there with this dog. They had said they found a dog in the back seat and didn't know what to do with it. And once I saw the dog, I knew that it needed uh, immediate care. They told her he was in a ditch in Douglas County, starving. From five feet away, I could smell. It just, it was awful. I wasn't sure he was still alive. I, I've never seen anything so just awful in my life. She rushed him to her own vet in Arcola. The next day, some good news. His temperature's up and he's starting to eat a little bit. Um, he still can't move his head or stand, but we're hopeful. For now, she's hoping for more progress. I asked her if he makes it, what's she hoping for next? Well, I guess he's coming home. I just assumed that, you know, we, <laughs> it's just, she, she always wants to save every, you know, every animal. A potential new addition to the Funny Farm family. If you were to take him in, what would you name him? Apollo. Why is that? He's a fighter. The Genslers say they want to thank their vet at the Animal Health Care Center. And they say if the dog survives and it doesn't work out with adoption, they would want to foster him until he can find a forever home. And if it's a runaway, they hope that this story can help reunite the dog with a long-lost owner. Jessica. Some big hearts, as we said, for sure. All right, Emily, thank you so much.